So the first time I saw Tanwa Savage, I saw it at the cinemas and I wasn't reviewing films at the time. So now that is on Netflix and it's trending number one on the table, this is a great time for me to share my thoughts on the film. So Tanwa Savage is the story of a married couple that are really desperate to have children and somehow somewhere the man got his wife pregnant alongside two other women so he had to live with the chaos of having three pregnant women under his roof all at the same time this film stars bimbo ademoye linda osifo inkechi blessing uzo arukwe shegun arinze this is a really fantastic story idea and so I've gone either ways, either a tragic chaos or a comic relief. Now the filmmaker decided to make it a comic relief, which I totally love. How And the first thing I love about this film is the fact that we did not see the Nigerian mother dynamics. Usually it's the mother that is always in the family, you know, the husband's mother that is always asking for children. But for a change, we see that it's the father this time around and the father is one demand asking pressuring his son to see um to have children and to explore op options for children which i really love because it was really subtle and it was it really toned down all the bad bulls that we saw later on in this film when i say bad bulls, if you're not if you're not nigerian bad bulls means like all the altercations all the banter all the chaos that happened between all the three wives yes there was really a lot of bad bulls and it was fun to watch sincerely the story had a lot of loopholes when i say a lot of loopholes a lot of loopholes that made the story sort of discombobulated it was it was it was confusing at some point it was just all over the place and it was hard to follow through in fact if i start listing loopholes okay just to mention a few I did not feel the desperation of this couple. I didn't even know how long they were married. You know, the the whole promiscuous thing, the, the the whole being desperate for children at some point felt like the man was just looking for an opportunity to exercise his promiscuity. Um, the wife's Zainab relationship with Michael, that's um, Simini's character. I did not understand the rationale behind that. It did not make sense to me. This guy was a former employee. Now he had lost his job. What are you looking for with him? And he claims to, sl to have slept with you to blackmail you because he was broke at the time. I thought it was the other way around. It didn't make any sense to me. And the Tosi and Zainab relationship, these people were friends. They were close enough for Zainab to let Tosi into a family house to leave it because that was how she slept with her husband but now going forward the way tosin just turned around and became very spiteful it was almost like she was a fake friend from the very beginning the same thing applies to um jola's character that's the husband the husband he felt like all of his friends were all fake friends you know i understand you want to make it light a very delicate a very a very life-threatening situation by making jokes out of it which is fine but when your jokes get to the point, when, when, when you don't even show care after that, I'm not seeing you being there for your friends and all of that, all of the friendships, all of the relationships in this film, whether marriage, whether friendships did not, were not concrete enough, were not shown to me as the audience has been concrete enough in any way, shape or form. And that really took away from the story. You know the part that i was really really confused about the most was the whole paternity test thing so somewhere along the line i'm going to give you spoilers i'm very sorry about that so somewhere along the line the husband jola is now after finding out that the first two pregnancies um, were not his he's now questioning his wife and his wife's pregnancy also which is sort of weird because i in this film i did not get any vibe that this woman was really promiscuous you know going by the film i understand that you may be frustrated and you may be angry and you may now feel like okay questioning everything happening around you but the fact that the wife consented like our actions show that okay yeah this child may not be yours because i cheated which the man should have actually sensed and negated i should i give you spoilers you know watch the film by yourself and i want to know what you think but i insist that all of these loopholes alongside the way this film was shot 
you know i saw from the cinematography from the locations from the from the cast and a lot of things that I, I observed in the film, I can tell that it was a very tight budget and the story was really, really wishy, wishy-washy. I More would have been done with the story, more would have been done sincerely because this is a really, really fantastic story idea, more would have been done. So what do I think about Tower Savage? I think Tower Savage is cool to watch just for laughs, just for vibes and for crews. Feel free to watch Tower Savage, it's streaming right now on Netflix. Obviously, let me know your thoughts on this film and don't forget to also subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. Also, let's have this conversation in the comment box below. My name is Faustina. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you next time. Bye.